Hello and welcome to Newbies PR. In this video, we're learning about PR campaign. Explain generally, a PR campaign is like a project by a company to share a certain message with the public, often to improve their image or tell people about a new product or service. During campaigns, brands use various communication channels including social media posts, getting news stories, hosting events, and running advertisements, all aimed at delivering a specific message. To get a picture of what a campaign is, it'd be a good idea to think about other PR campaigns you've likely seen. Here are some examples. The Share a Coke campaign by Coca-Cola launched in 2011. During the campaign, they replaced the traditional Coca-Cola logo on bottles with common names, inviting customers to share a Coke with someone whose name was on the bottle. This simple campaign idea transformed the product into a personal experience, creating a direct emotional connection with consumers. It leveraged user-generated content by encouraging people to share photos and stories of their personalized Coke bottles on social media and it resulted in a significant temporary increase in Coca-Cola sales, as well as a boost to its brand image. Another one was the Shot on iPhone campaign. This campaign began as a challenge when iPhone users were invited to share their best shots on Instagram or Twitter, and after a review of submissions from a panel of judges, a select few would be featured on billboards, Apple retail stores, and online. Currently, the hashtag Shot on iPhone has more than 15 million posts on Instagram alone. You can read more about the campaign on socialsamosa.com. PR campaigns can vary depending on their objectives and the target audience. Here are some common types of PR campaigns. Product launch campaigns. A product launch campaign is designed to introduce a new product or service to the market. The objectives of these are to generate awareness and excitement about the new product. Brand awareness campaigns. The goal of these campaigns is to increase the visibility and recognition of a brand. They often involve a variety of tactics, including media relations, social media, and influencer collaborations. Crisis management campaigns. When a company faces a crisis that could damage its reputation, it is sometimes decided that a PR campaign is needed to manage the situation, communicate effectively with stakeholders, and restore the company's reputation. Corporate Social Responsibility Campaigns, or CSR campaigns. These campaigns aim to showcase a company's efforts in areas like environmental sustainability, community service, or diversity and inclusion. A successful CSR campaign can enhance a company's reputation and strengthen its relationship with customers and the community. Each different type of campaign requires a different approach and a strategic mix of PR tactics. But in the next section, we'll go over what the basic structure is for the planning of a PR campaign. So what's involved in the planning? So here's a simplified explanation of the steps involved. Firstly, identify your goal. What do you want to achieve with your PR campaign? It could be increasing awareness of your brand, raising hype for a launching of a new product, improving your reputation, etc. You can use the SMART goals formula for help planning your goals. An example of a goal that follows this structure is increase the number of mentions of our brand in industry-specific publications and relevant social media platforms by 25% over the next six months. Also make sure to decide your key performance indicators. These can include measurements such as media mentions, this measures how many times your company or product is mentioned by the media. It can include mentions in online articles, print media, TV, radio, or blogs. Conversion rate. This is for PR campaigns with a specific action in mind, like downloading a resource, signing up for a webinar, or making a purchase. Social media engagement. This involves tracking likes, shares, comments, and followers on your social media platforms. Higher engagement can indicate a more successful PR campaign. Decide your target audience. Who needs to hear your message to achieve your goal? It could be customers, investors, the general public, or other specific groups. Craft your message. What information, ideas, or feelings do you want your audience to take away from your campaign? This also includes what your campaign slogan is, what your campaign hashtag will be, etc. These details are helpful for making your campaign more memorable, and it gives something for news outlets to put in the headlines of their articles if they decide to write about your campaign. Choose your communication channels. What methods will you use to deliver your message to your audience? This can include press releases, social media, events, advertising, or other tools. Make your timeline. Plan your timeline with key milestones and dates. When and in what order will you do the various activities of your campaign? Measure your success. Are your activities reaching your audience and achieving your goals? You can use things such as surveys, social media analytics, sales numbers, or media coverage to measure this. You can also refer back to your KPIs and your SMART goals. Now on to the general timeline of a PR campaign. So the timeline of a PR campaign can vary significantly depending on the complexity and scope of the campaign. However, a typical one might look something like this. 1. Research and planning in the first 1-2 to two months. This stage includes most of the things that we talked about including deciding the campaign objectives, the target audience, key messages and strategies. It may also involve market research or a SWOT analysis. 2. Development. 1-2 to two months. During this stage, you'll create the marketing and promotional materials for your campaign. This might include press releases, social media content, website copy, videos, commercials, or other promotional materials. 
You will have these things ready to publish, but not published yet. Information such as details in your press releases may be on embargo, and you may have your social media posts scheduled to auto-publish on a social media tool like later. Pre-launch, two to four weeks. In this stage, you'll begin reaching out to media, influencers, or other partners to build anticipation for your campaign. You might send out teasers, hold a pre-launch event, or begin sending out content on your own channels. Four, the campaign launch. This can range from about a day to a week. This is when your campaign officially goes live. You'll distribute your press releases, launch your social media campaign, hold your launch event, or start any other planned activities. 5. Implementation. 1-6 to six months. This is the bulk of your campaign. While you continue executing your planned activities, engaging with your audience, and adjusting your strategy as needed based on the responses. 6. Evaluation. Ongoing and post-campaign. Throughout the campaign, you'll monitor its performance and make adjustments as necessary. And after the campaign concludes, you'll conduct a more thorough evaluation to measure its success and draw lessons for future campaigns. Remember, the timeline, the things you do, etc. can vary greatly depending on the size of your company, your target audience, your campaign objectives, etc. And to learn more about campaigns, look up successful PR campaigns for the industry that you're interested in. See what social media posts they made during the campaign, what advertisements they ran, what their campaign message was, what it was about, how was it creative and effective for its goal and audience, what strategies they use, such as using a user-generated content contest, what did the news publications say about their campaign, etc. There's just some things to think about. And that's it for this video. Good luck planning your campaign. Let us know in the comments what your favorite campaign is. This has been Newbies PR, the start of your PR learning journey.